Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Xiaomi Smart Alarm Clock. This is smart because it connects to the internet using Wi-Fi and you have access to Xiaomi's Smart AI Assistant and you can ask it questions, things like how's the weather today, you can ask it to set the alarm for you, you can record 80 voice memos on it, and you can also control other smart home appliances like light bulbs, remotes, uh, air conditioners, if you have any other smart connected devices in the house uh, from Xiaomi. It can also be an internet radio, so you can play back some music and tunes and again, it's a work assistant. Now, the only downside is this uh, AI assistant is only going to work in Mandarin Chinese or if it has English support now, which I certainly hope it does, uh, because past uh, smart AI devices from Xiaomi only had the AI part functioning if you spoke to it in Chinese, which is obviously a limitation considering that these are products that Xiaomi only intended for the Chinese market and they're being exported by distributors like Gearbest. The CPU is a quad-core Cortex-A35 at 1.3 3 gigahertz. It's probably a MediaTek chipset there. It has Bluetooth built on in, in addition to Wi-Fi. And lifting up the lid, we have just the alarm clock on top. We also have the quick user manual, which is again printed only in Chinese. Xiaomi Home app, which is standard across all of Xiaomi's smart home devices that we've seen. So you only need one app to control everything. And here is the AC power adapter, which is using just micro USB. The alarm clock itself is very minimalistic and it's a lot smaller than other alarm clocks that you've probably have or owned in the past. Here it is next to a cell phone so you can tell that it's really compact, it doesn't take up much space at all when you place it onto a bedside table. Um, otherwise the front here is made out of plastic, the edges here are also plastic, it's a polycarbonate build, kind of reminds me of the early uh, Macs that you know Apple used to make which were all made out of plastic. There's a loudspeaker on the back for the alarm and there's also the micro USB be port for power. It does need to be plugged in at all times because there is no built-in battery. Uh, on the bottom there's also a rubber strip that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk. Alright, so plugging it into power, it's going to give us a voice prompt for the first time to open up the app and then register it to Wi-Fi that way. And on the top there's a glowing LED ring. Uh, it also acts actually as a mute switch for the mic. So if you aren't uh, you know, using it as a smart AI assistant, kind of like Amazon Alexa or Echo products, uh, you're able to also tap on this, I believe, to mute the mic manually, uh, similar to the Google Home Mini that has a mechanical switch. So it's a multifunction key both for the snooze as well as for the mic control. Anyways, this is what the display looks like. Again, it's using LEDs, so it's pretty energy efficient, matches the color of the outer shell, and definitely looks looks very modern and minimalistic. Unfortunately, setting up the alarm clock is a little more complicated than I was hoping for. That's because if you go into the Mi Home app and you're living in the US, uh, it's very likely that if you tap on plus and try to find a device nearby or manually, it's not going to be in the list of appliances that you can just add. It's not going to find it nearby uh, because you're using the US server and this is a product that's just been released in China. So in order to connect to it, you have to change servers. So what you have to do is go into profile on your uh, Mi Home app and then then you go into the settings, then tap on region, and instead of using the US server, you have to change to mainland China server. You'll see the list automatically expand to include the entire catalog of products have, that Xiaomi has released. Many, which you can see, are definitely exclusive only to Asia or China, uh, because again, it's almost like an explosion of products compared to the US list, which is much, much shorter by comparison. But the main point is, if you go into entertainment now, you should be able to find, uh, under alarm clock, the Mi AI alarm. It's successfully connected to the internet, uh, the alarm clock has, and now the light has turned white. And so just like Google and Amazon smart products, we can select a room location. So let's say I want this to be in my bedroom right now. Now the command for talking to the AI assistant is the same as the other Xiaomi AI products we've seen in the past, like their AI speakers. So instead of saying, hey Alexa, you would still use the same prompt as before, which is still in Chinese, unfortunately. So you have to say, hey, Xiao Ai Tongxue, and it will respond, it'll have these interesting uh, cute little eyes blinking and then you can just ask it a question. And you're basically saying in Chinese, hey Xiaomi classmate, uh, so you're calling it a classmate to help you search something. Alright, so this is what the app looks like here and it's pretty simple, uh, the panel for the Mi AI alarm. You can obviously set an alarm from the phone, which is going to be a lot easier than on the device, especially since it doesn't have any buttons or controls to manually set the time with only the alarm. I can also do a countdown, so I can set it for one, three, five, or custom amount of minutes, so afterwards 
it's going to、uh, be a test of its speaker's loudness. Alright, so tapping on that, it will just stop the the、uh, chime. So basically, it gets progressively louder and louder. But it's a pretty basic sound in that quick demo there. But it's definitely sufficiently loud to get your attention.、Um, but the speakers are a little on the tinny side, so it's not the best quality in the world if you are again listening to music. So to conserve on battery and also to not disturb you at night, it does dim the display after a few seconds of inactivity unless you tilt it、uh, or you tap on the button on the top, and then it becomes brighter again. There's also something called a nap and meditation mode, which is a trial feature right now. You can see how there is a little bit of inconsistency in terms of、uh, some menus still being in Chinese, others being in English. So there's a bit of guesswork going on. Again, there's some development that needs to be made to the software, and hopefully they make this available on the U.S. server soon.、Uh, Uh, just to make it easier to find, but anyways, this seems to be actually a white noise mode. So you can select the amount of time for you to fall asleep, and then you can select a sound. So this one here is fire. So it's kind of a wood that's slowly crackling away. This one is the beach, or the sound of waves and the shore slowly crashing along rocks. This one is the forest, so you can hear birds chirping along in the background.、Uh, anyways, tapping on the top there, you see it turn red. That means you've muted the microphone. So again, very similar to the Google Home Mini speaker, you can manually mute the mic, which is actually a good security feature. So again, other things you can control, including smart home, would be other appliances that you have connected. You can do things like turn on the、uh, smart light, smart lamp, or you can say good night, and it will automatically dim the lights in the room that you're in, which is pretty cool. But again, you do need to be using other Xiaomi connected home products. If you have them from another manufacturer or another system like Google or Amazon, it's not going to control that. And other things you can ask, including travel. So how long does it take to get to point A to B in a city? The weather in a particular city. So you Can ask these basic questions, and of course, you can also ask it、uh, other more conversational things. These are just some suggestions. You can also adjust the volume from the app、uh, under settings, so to make it、uh, more quiet or make it more loud. So previously, we were playing at about 85% of the volume. Let's try out some of the voice commands next. I'm going to ask it the weather in Paris. 小爱同学对巴黎天气预报巴黎今天多云转阵雨，记得带伞。六度到八度，比北京高五度，西南风三级。So it's basically saying Paris right now is five degrees warmer than Beijing because that's the default location that it's set to. It's also where Xiaomi's headquarters are located, the capital of China, and it's also telling you to bring an umbrella because it's probably going to rain. So you can ask it international locations, but it still will reply to you in Chinese. Now the exception would be very simple English phrases. It sometimes does understand. For example, if you ask it, "Who are you?" It actually answers. So here's a test. 小爱同学，对 ，Who are you? 你好，我是小爱。你的语音助理可以为你播放音乐，控制智能设备，了解世界。新技能还在不断增长，欢迎常来找我玩。So it's saying my name is、uh, Xiao Ai, and I can play music, and it tells you all the features it can do. So it actually understood it, and you can tell that it actually picked up this phrase correctly.、Um, so it seems like they are trying to also integrate a little bit of English support, which is at least trying, but it's just not fully there yet. We can also set an alarm for 8 a.m. Let's say next morning. Xiao Ai 同学，好的，帮你定好了，明天上午八点的闹钟。So it set an alarm for 8 a.m. the next morning, and now it's going to play some internet radio. So it can play back some、uh, internet radio stations, whether that's news, whether that's a little bit of music, and it does sound reasonably clean. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Xiaomi Smart AI Alarm Clock. Now the design is very simple, modern, and pretty beautiful. But again, the main selling point of this thing is it's very cheap, but also a smart AI assistant, kind of like an Amazon Echo Dot in the form of an alarm clock. I like this concept a lot. 
I know that Amazon is also making a version of their own, but this one is a lot cheaper. It's also very simple, just a digital clock on the front. Uh, limitations, however, is that the AI part really only works in Chinese. Yes, there are simple phrases you can ask it in English, but it still responds in Chinese. So if you aren't learning the language or you know, know parts of the language, it could be very tricky, even though the app component can be understood in English. Uh, and it has some basic features like a uh, white noise generator and some countdown timers, which work pretty well. So anyways, you can find out more details in the links down below. But again, if you are a Chinese speaker or if you know parts of the language, it could be an interesting gadget to consider, especially if you like the idea of having this smart assistant baked into a simple alarm clock. Find out more details, but but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Xiaomi Smart AI Alarm Clock.